Wow. Two in a row. Sign for the team that they're going to be that dominant, or who knows? I mean, to a certain degree, we've had a handful of Texas Wesleyan and Mississippi College matchups. And. Both big forehand. Yes. He seems to handle it well. <laughs> that is very true. Yeah, to a provincial player, 2,500 is nothing. Wow. The weaker shot, but he compensates by turning the corner so quick. But I've watched Jasang a lot this tournament. He seems to have been a slow starter. But once his Good rally here. Counter looping. Wow. Oh. Well, youth wins out in the first set. <laughs> so, you know, going into game two. Here we go, 2016 TMS Collegiate National Semifinals. Yeah, could be possible. It's something we have to look into. I'm going to pay attention now. I wasn't looking. I was paying attention to his four. Oh. It's from Ching Wei. And That's he's just redirecting it. Tai Shi right there at his final. Literature on you know, international level players' legs. Oh, man. He's very comfortable in this arena. Mm -hmm. He's a veteran of the tournament world. He plays a lot of U.S. Yeah, he Semi-finals. Touch on that return to serve, able to control it short. Oh, the strike, yes. Good strive to be that when we're playing, especially at the finals, semifinals. A very strong mental game. Whoa. Point. Whoa. Oh, beautiful power. Great point. Beautiful. That was an easy mistake, yeah. But they happen. And Ching Wei takes the second game. Oh, though. Yeah, that's true. Uh, he treats, you know, most people, if they see they're down like 10-6, 10-5, you know, you might be discouraged and might think they're just throwing the... Great winner and just cranked it for a winner. Corner. But you can bring him back to his backhand after you get the rally going, you know, because... Oh, beautiful wow. Four or five steps ahead of That's the right. Game. That's right. Ah! 
going just a little bit long in the table. Yeah, that return of serve was with the short pips, and it came back no spin. Jasang should have stepped in and flipped it. He tried to drop it thinking it was a normal spin ball, but there's no spin on those pips when he drops it short like that. Wow. And he lets him attack out of that backhand corner. Cut him wide to the forehand. If you want to win this match. Says Coach Barney. <laughs> <laughs> and an update from table two. Anastasia from Texas Wesleyan has gone on and beaten Neha from Columbia University. She will move on to, uh, to the finals of the women's single. Back on table one. 7-3 lead. Yeah. This is a pretty big lead right now. It's the number three seed who now is leading two games to zero and 7-3 against the number one seed in the tournament. Mm -hmm. That hit, we got some breaks. That's maybe gonna spark his run. Let's see. He needs it right now, he's down 7-4. Here you see that high toss serve. Backhand just clips the edge right there. All eyes are on table one right now. Watching this amazing matchup. And the number one seed is in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. Experience has got to come out now. He's got to pull out those tricks if he's been holding them back. Mm -hmm. Got a break there. We haven't seen Huey miss many of those around step around. Man, you can hear the spin on that ball when it hit the microphone. Mm hmm. I'd burn your hand if you pick it up. <laughs> Don't touch it. <laughs> Now see that? The slow spin into those short pips. Very smart play there. Even though, see here, the serve creeped a little long. He spins the ball up high to the back end. He wanted to turn, but didn't have time. Mm -hmm. Very good. He's able to find the backhand short pips. Very, that's the weakness. If he has one, I mean, say it's a weakness, it's probably a 2,600 level backhand, but we're calling it a weakness because it's not 2,800 like his forehand. <laughs> <laughs> this is a crucial game. Yeah. The number one seed is, can't go down 3-0. He can't. Or can he? Ooh, heavy spin, got returned back. That, did you see that thing? That just sank straight to the net. Mm -hmm. forehand by Ching Wei. Might have got a little lucky if you see here he catches one net court, pushes heavy to the wide forehand. That's where, that's where you want him to start. Then you got to bring him back wide. You can't let him have two forehands there. Yeah. You got to take him back wide to that backhand corner after you cut him wide to his forehand. Wow. Defense. <laughs> Defense! That was an amazing block. Look yeah. at this reaction time. He just totally, good thing his racket was in front of him, and boom, just like that. It's an awesome block. So going into game four right now, he's down three games. What do you think Jashan has to do in order to change every, anything up right now? I mean, he's definitely going to come out more aggressive. I can promise you that. He's going to take a chance and serve a little bit more long, try to force the action. But I don't know. This is a big hole to climb out of. I mean, the number one seed has now put himself three games to zero down against the third seed in the semifinals of the 2016 Collegiate National Championships in beautiful Round Rock, Texas. <laughs> All right. Let's 
Jashan to start off with the serve. I know we're supposed to stay neutral, but kind of want to cheer for Jasong now that it's going to be all Mississippi. If, if this guy takes him out, it's three Mississippi guys in the semis and finals. And the last time we've had a situation like that was two years ago when uh, Mississippi College is Li Chang and Yichi Zhang were in the finals. Which is who's playing next. Uh -huh. Aren't they playing next, Yichi Zhang and in the other semi? Yichi. Yes, they are. See that? The Angel Sang's yeah. out 3 0. But I mean, when you're when you're the number one seed, you kind of wanted to start like this the first game, not down 3 0 to start like this, right? Mm -hmm. But hey, it's better late than never. Wow. Great over the table forehand flip. see here a great variation and same forehand flip but this time to the backhand of Ching Wei. See the young kid doesn't want to think too much about victory though. He needs to go back to his strategy. He starts thinking about okay I'm gonna win I'm up 3-0. Oh no that's Dang. the worst thing you can think of when you're out there. You gotta think point by point. Just the intensity on Liang's face now has changed. Look at his face. Cheng Wei's finally on the board. 1-6. One, six. One, six. Andy, it's funny though. They, these two have very similar styles, minus the backhand. One has short pips, one has sponge. Ooh. That was a blasting. Forehand I didn't even see it. <laughs> Look at this on the replay. That This is where you can see it. In slow motion, you should be able to see this ball. But in real time, no chance. Look at that. Even in slow motion, that was like a rocket. <laughs> oh, no. you got to write those points down. Oh. That's ESPN right there. Highlight reel. Turn and burn. Okay, the number one seed is showing why he's number one seed. Yeah. It goes out wide with that one. Up 9-1, but down 3-0. This is a big hill to climb. One, nine. I like that strategy, backhand to backhand. I've been trying to get him to employ that. Mm -hmm. Fighting off eight game points. Ten, so Andy, you could see he was kind of lax on that 10-1 mm -hmm. return. That's the way he played the whole first three games, basically. But now it's like he shifted gears, hit yep. the NOS button. That was amazing for him. Let's see if we can get that in slow motion. Cut deep, look at that turn. Boom! Beautiful shot. The whole body, from every muscle in his body is into that ball. Mm -hmm. So just saying, gets on the board finally. The number one seed is back. Mm -hmm. Feels alive now. He's got a game under his belt. The confidence is there. Can the young newcomer to the college table tennis scene, can he hold his lead? That is the question we're about to find out. If Deshaun keeps doing what he just did in that last game, I don't know if Ching Wei can <laughs> hold on. 
and he just turned on he just turned it on like a drop of a dime just for like real that. it was like a light switch yep. okay let's go lights on well where was that in the first thing <laughs> Maybe he just takes a very long time to feel out his opponent. Apparently. Oh. And Ching Wei starting to get fired up right now. aggressive shot after you make a backhand to turn the corner like that. He's really going for it. Jasang starts off not able to break the serve of his opponent. He just clips the edge of the blade just a little bit. Yeah, that was smart on that first ball. Normally he takes the first ball 100 miles an hour. That one he slowed it down and put some heavy spin in it. Mm -hmm. What a rally here, folks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> forehand to forehand exchange at the highest level. Check this out. Counter loop, counter loop. He run back. Wow. Stays right at the Three, table. One. And that's just inches away from the edge, too. On that replay, Jasang ran out of my camera view. <laughs> he was back that far. I couldn't even see him. It shows you they use every inch of this court. Mm -hmm. Body language of the young kid. He really needs to get motivated. As you just saw, just hang jumping around, getting his feet going. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Now, I was going to say that the Mississippi College had a great first attack. Look at this. The ball's low. He's going to cut him out wide to the forehand, spins it up, but just hang just even better. Unbelievable forehand counter loops that ball. But he's doing the strategy. He's cutting him out wide to the forehand first. It's starting to work. Not there. Oh, but he changed it up, and it did work this time. Pushing him out to the backhand, and then wide out to the forehand. Here it goes. Beautiful cut. Nice block control. Ouch, that was a slip. That was a nice no-spin serve. Got it a little high and just turned the corner with the slide. 5-3. See, it shows the difficulty of those shots, and that's why when they actually land, we're just so amazed yeah. because it's, it's not like they can always hit. He cuts deep here again, goes for that same counter loop and just misses the ball. But look where he cut that ball too. Mm -hmm. He cut that to the backhand and he seems to keep losing those points. Okay, he won one the point before, but majority of the points he loses when he cuts to the backhand first. Yeah. That's heavy. Yeah. This is a very, very five, close match five. right now. 5-5 five, five in game five. How can the number one seed just miss the serve like that? Because Mississippi College guy had been serving a lot of no spin, mm -hmm. and it looks exactly the same. You can't tell. I can't tell from up here. I have to be watching the ball to see if I see rotation. Ooh. He almost clips the edge of the table, but it looks like Jishon is definitely targeting that backhand. Yeah, and he got him to use it four times, and it worked. Boom. There you go. The young kid needs to believe in himself. I can see the doubt in his face right now. Wow. Solid D right there. Mm -hmm. Didn't have to go for the counter loop, just went for the block. Had his racket in position. Very good. Oh. 
So if you notice, he put up his hand, even though he had a counter loop, he put up his finger because he looped that ball off of the edge of his paddle. Um, I mean, is that a little bit lucky? Kind of, but it was he was going for that yeah. shot. It, just, it was an intentional. Yeah, that was an intentional shot. I mean, Kate, not off the edge. But right. <laughs> still was his point. That's an experience right there. He kind of hesitated. You could even just see it. He had the ball. He should have went for it. His first instinct was right. Attack that ball. Seven, seven, semifinals. Oh, beautiful rally here. Oh! Great rally. And Cheng Wei is all fired up blow right now. Blow for blow here. You see it. Once he takes him down the line here to the forehand, boom, block. He goes for a counter right there. He counters back. Just misses the re-counter. Amazing rally. Now, Crucial point. That was perfectly set up, except for one thing. Just saying, forgot he had pips on the backhand, and the ball was slower. And then you saw that's why he just whiffed that ball. He was thinking it was a rubber shot coming back, which is the timing he was used to. Mm -hmm. That short pips throws off your timing. You can see it right here. Oh, just missed the ball. It was a little bit in front of him. And that's what people ask me all the time. Well, what's the advantage of a short pips or a long pips? Well, what it does is it throws off your timing. It's a rhythm breaker. That's right. Because this game has a lot to do with rhythm. If you can break your opponent's rhythm, you're the man. Yeah. And, and all, it's that, all it is is it makes you take half a step earlier or half a step later. And if you don't, you're but not. the process that you have to be so quick. Like, yeah. I mean, that's unbelievable to do it on the fly. It's like yeah. you have to know that, okay, now we'll do it. But then doing it is the hard part. Yeah. <laughs> and you see this huge crowd that we have out here. Yeah, this is just amazing. Beautiful facility here. Time in. Now, if Mississippi College, the young guy, if he can stay within himself, he definitely, 9-7, 3-1, has a chance. With serve, Jisang's going to look for this serve to come a little bit half long. He's going to try to get it first if he can. He went to the forehand. Just missed the counter loop. It's a risque shot, but it had been working. Are we going to see an all Mississippi college finals? 10 7. Or does Liang just saying, say, I'm coming back, guys? And again, stay within yourself. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. No, because hey, that point hey. right there. Now you allow Jisang to have serve, which means even though he's down by two, having serve, this is where you want to be. Semifinals. It's in your hands. Oh! He saves off his second match point with a great rally. Two or three topspin exchanges, forehand to forehand. Here it is again. Opens up, counter loop, another counter loop, three or four, boom! There it is, a little spin shot. Nice. You can hear how quiet it is in here, folks. That's why we're starting to get a little whispery. We also hear the field attention. <laughs> Gotta come to this tournament next year if you're not here. Whoa! Whoa! Amazing. Youth beats experience today. Unbelievable. Awesome. That's why they play the game. The yeah. number three seed takes out the number one seed. You've that seen it here. Amazing to watch. Thanks, folks. We'll be back. Yeah. Taking a short break. This is Andy Wynn signing off. And Barney Reed, thank you.
Next up, semifinals number two. 